<clears throat> All right, boys. He's going to call a coin flip here in this game. We are going to lose the coin flip because he called tails. Uh, and we are going to be playing some Garchomp Giratina Expanded. With a little bit differently than I think most people play it. I'm going to play it with a Fortress, which has this ability called Thorn Tempest. Play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon. You may put one damage counter on each of them. So that fulfills a requirement for Garchomp Giratina. Hopefully, we'll see it utilized in this game. As he playing some kind of jank lock deck. He's probably playing hand loop just, just to play it before it, it dies because of the rule changes coming in. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's gonna play hand loop. Whoa, what a prick. It's unfortunate too because if he doesn't get the hand loop, he'll probably just quit. That's probably a waste of my time. Well, let's see what he grabs here. Double nest ball. Oh, it's turbo buzz. Oh, okay. All right, I respect him. I respect that. I respect that. Although I don't know how turbo buzz will deal with this deck. So attach one, he's already greensed. Then he's just gonna pass. Oof. Not the best of starts from our boy over here. Then we're gonna grab Battle Compressor. No, 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 I need the float stone. I need the float stone. I'm gonna grab the float stone. So I'm gonna play the float stone. Uh see so we get off this trainer's mail first before it's oh wow. Mwah. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So we're gonna drop that. Gonna do that. Then I'm gonna grab another pine co. Put that in our hand. Play that. I should have grabbed shame. That's okay though. I'm still gonna play Juniper. Draw cards. Rip the Daz machine, but that's okay. Um, trainer's mail. Ooh, there we go. Ultra ball. That's what we wanted. I'm gonna play that. Grab the Giratina. Trainer's mail. Max elixir. Yeah, I like Max elixir here. Hey, got it. Play that. One, two. Gonna grab Shaman. Shaman for five. This one play another one of those. We got him powered up in turn one. So we're gonna retreat. Then going to Calamitous slash for knockout. Looking good. And he hit Max Elixir, which is a pretty decent card to hit off prizes too. So we have a 23 card deck. Now as long as Buzz here doesn't one-shot us, Good. Good to go. 
If he does one shot us, we're in trouble, but. Oh no, we got a first seeker, it's fine. But... Oh, before you ask. Yes, I could have dropped the fortress on him, but it was unnecessary. Because we had knockout anyway. So I want him to bench another Buzzmosa before I drop the fair the fortress. I also need to drop two of them to take knockouts. energy on that one. He's going to give me a free prize. Sounds alright to me. Unfortunately, that puts him in beast ring range. At least we grabbed our Skyfield, which is nice. But Heck is this? Oh, it's just a different Mysterious. Okay. Which one sets that from? I don't know that set symbol. Somebody in the comment section, please tell me that set symbol. Ah, oh, he's going to power plant. Hmm. I don't like that very much. Especially considering we only use one Shaman so far. So he's going to train his mail. He's going to try to dig for those beast energies. Beast ring, sorry. And there's one. But how many does he have access to? Just a real question. Mm -hmm. How many does he need to get to? So he needs to basically get to all of them. He needs to find a way to boost his damage once. And then he needs seven more. So he needs eight energy. He needs five more energy and a way to boost his damage and a way to switch in this. It's That doesn't look likely, to be honest. And even then, like, okay, cool. So he's ahead by a little bit at that point, right? Because he takes one prize and then he'll take three more. So he'll take four prizes for that. And then he still has to knock out a Giratina. Unfortunately, he played Ace Trainer, so we're only going to get three cards. Still hit Fortress. Feels good, man. But we're going to whiff on our uh, versus Seeker. So that's a little unlucky. A strainer in this is actually really good. Didn't think about that. So I guess he's gonna... Is he just gonna settle with Elegant Soul? Taking a sweet time though. There it is, just jet punch. He's, he had to think about it, but he just decided to jet punch instead. Okay. Coco. Hmm. I just want to check something. Yeah, he strings my, my opponent, so it's fine. I just need to find a way to knock him out. Actually, no, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do... Because he jet punched, I'm going to do this. I'm going to play the Ferrothorn. To put one damage counter on everything. Then I'm going to linear attack. The reason why I'm going to linear attack is I expect him... I, I get to live for one more turn here. And even if he jet punches one more time, I can just GG end him. Get rid of all that energy. I'm kind of baiting him into putting all this energy on. And then I'm just going to GG end him. 
So he's gonna have like all this energy with his B strings and it's just whoop, all gone. So he won't be able to follow up. Uh, it's a big, big brain play. And of course, if I'm, of course, if I'm fortunate enough, oh, please don't, oh no, Mars, he's going to get rid of my energy. Shit. That's like super bad. Super thing is, is he's using, I know why he's using Mars. He's only using Mars because it helps him reduce his hand size. But it's going to screw me here. Chip Chip X. Ah, so he is playing some kind of like locky thing too. I, mean, I guess we saw that already. He's gonna chip chip whatever that is to the top. Hopefully it's, uh, it's probably something really trash. It's probably gonna be like Shaman or something like that I can't use. No, I'm just kidding, I wish it was a Shaman. <laughs> uh, wait, Mars, does he have to discard? He gets to draw two? I think it's just only draw two. Mars. So yeah, just still be able to use Mars. I thought Mars had like an activation condition, but it does not. Yeah, it's just draw two and if to discard two a random card. Don't be the energy. Yeah, it's not the energy. All right, we're fine. As long as he doesn't have another Mars. As long as he does not have another Mars. Which I have a feeling that's what he's going for. But it doesn't matter because he just gave me a prize. So as long as he got an energy out of here, we're good. Shaman. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. It's fine. Greens. Mm. B-string and life forest. Well, that sucks. So he's just going to load up that one instead. And then he's going to Life Force, be able to heal. Oh, unlucky. Did I use all my stadiums too? I did not. So I still have stadiums, but I have no bench. So I have to draw into my stadium. So yeah, he's just going to retreat into this one that does slightly more damage. He's going to be able to heal. I think he actually has knockout here. 190 and 60? Yeah, 250. Yeah, that's knockout. Shoot. So he's gonna take three prizes here. But that does free up a bench spot. So we're gonna drop that guy. Rescue stretcher. I'm gonna rescue Stretcher from a discard pile into my hand. I'll grab the fortress. Put damage counters on. Uh, love to. So now he's at 250. Gonna play that. Shaman for six. Six. Didn't get, did not get my stadium. Ah, there he is. There's the stadium. So we've got the stadium. Uh, we're gonna do that. So we are out of Giratinas. Let's see. Check my discard real fast. Uh, we could probably use Battle Compressor, possibly. Yeah, I could use Battle Compressor. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. 
it's not the top, sorry. <laughs> I thought I was like, just grab him. No, uh, I'm gonna grab Guzma, put in the discard pile. Uh, I don't really need that anymore. I have already have everything powered up, ready to go, so don't need those anymore. I just need that last fortress. So in a shaman. get there wait I think we did yeah we no I did get there yeah, yeah, yeah I got the ultra ball so we're gonna grab the fortress drop fortress on him again that puts him in range that's 240 and we're gonna retreat and Calamitous Slash for Knockout. Actually, I just realized we could have just guzma him instead of having to do all that. But, oh well. We did it for the content. Try to get the Fortress in the action here. But, here we go. We're going to go over the deck list real quick. Uh, look at this time we got two games in. If I'm not mistaken. No, we got the one. We got one game. Yeah, that was a pretty long game though. Here we go. We got ourselves three Unified Minds packs. Uh, if I open anything good, I'll probably upload that to the channel. But anyway, we'll go in here, deck manager. And you guys can take a look at this. It is, I hate that I have to scroll down one, but that's all right. Uh, we got three Shaman, two Dedene. That's our draw engine, basically. When you pair that with the Skyfield, it has a very similar feel to Dark Box with that draw power. And I just love that. It's so good. Uh, then we got three Garchomp Giratinas. I have one full art because one of our followers, um, I believe it was, I'll have to check here. I think it was Kizogan. One of our followers gave us this Giratina and then gave us this Ferrothorn. So, you know, as a thank you to him, you know, we're playing them despite the fact they don't match arts and it's kind of bothering me, but that's okay. Then we got the three, three Pineco Fortress, as you see here. You're only here for the deck list. I'll have to explain this ability one more time. Thorn Tempest. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your po Pokemon, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. So, you use this in order to get Calamitous Slash to do an extra 240 damage, which is pretty good. Uh, then we got Tapu Koko. I haven't had been able to use him. Honestly, you could cut Koko. Because we're playing with Double Dragon, and when I originally built this, I wasn't running Double Dragon. I was more leaning on the Max Elixir plays. So, Tapu Koko has not really found as much use in this deck. You could definitely cut this for something else if you wanted to. I would cut it for a, not a third battle compressor. I would cut it for, excuse me, probably either a fourth Max Elixir or a second Rescue Stretcher. Uh, but if you think of anything else you might want to put in Coco's place, let me know in the comment section down below. Well, then we got four Acro Bikes. Uh, obviously, Expanded got it fast. Uh, two Battle Compressors, one Dowsing Machine. Didn't get a chance to use it, but there are like five different A specs you could use in this. All of them have merit. Uh, then we got four, we got the, sorry, not four, we got two Energy Lottos, which lets us search for this. We've got two Heavy Balls. And that's really convenient that heavy ball is search for three. Three retreat because we got three retreat here in Garchomp Giratina, but we also got three retreat here on Fortress. So it synergizes pretty well. Uh, then we got the three max elixirs just to get the extra basic energy on. Uh, we got one rescue stretcher to get our stuff back. One trainers, or four trainers mail. Four ultra balls because you got to search for your Pokemon. Four verse seekers because it's expanded. Get your supporters back two sky fields to allow this shaman to detonate strategy to work and then we got one guzma two junipers two float stones and a four three four split of double dragon fighting and psychic energy that's the deck list boys uh if you enjoyed the video don't forget to follow us on twitch the link is in the description but also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you do not miss another upload. So until next time, I'm Derek for Table 500, trying to keep these videos under 20 minutes, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.